Hi guys, Lady Random here and welcome back to Adults Play Minecraft. Okay, so we did a bit of a miney chatty episode last week. Um, totally understand that was probably not maybe up to everybody's kind of, well, not so much expectations, but probably not to everybody's taste. But you know what, I just wanted to kind of share some thoughts that I had about something that that we've done during lockdown. So um, yeah, hopefully you did enjoy it and you took something away from that. If you didn't, hey, we're back to normal, we're doing building. So kind of thought today would be nice to look at doing um, something with our dining room. And I kind of thought I wanted to, to maybe utilize um, some different, some different wood in order to make kind of our, our things because we've got a lot of dark stuff um we haven't got quite so much sort of lighter stuff involved in our builds so i thought it might be kind of nice to uh to do um a little bit more of a a kind of lighter uh we'll make nine just in case because i kind of think they'll actually make quite nice chair backs because yes i want I want to make our dining room. So I am also going to make some slabs as well. Um, but I'm kind of thinking the dining table, etc. We need to get that set up. I also need to have a think about a floor for in there. Um, so I've already dug the floor down. I've put some torches below. Um, I'm debating whether we go with a dark floor as we have done in the bedroom because that's kind of nice but some of me is also wondering about using stripped logs for a smoother floor rather than floorboards i'm kind of in two minds about this because we've used dark oak floors in here we've used dark oak floors in the study we've kind of been using where we've been when doing floors we've been using a lot of dark oak and I don't know whether that's too much. Um, we've got stone in here because it's kind of a scullery. We've got a very busy tiled floor in the kitchen, but hey, it keeps it nice and bright. So the dining room, I'm just debating whether we go for something a little bit more elegant. And I'm not entirely sure, and I haven't tried. I don't know what stripped jungle logs look like. See, that's quite light, isn't it? That could actually be quite nice. But then is it going to be too much like the... Yeah, you see, that to me is going to be too much like the colour of um, the table and that. So spruce we've used. So we've got loads of... Well, we've got some stripped dark oak. What about stripped oak? Stripped oak logs. So that's jungle. That's acacia. Dark oak. We could go for just an oak floor, I guess, couldn't we? Let's have a look. How much oak wood have we got? Not a great deal. So we may need to go very quickly, just chop ourselves down some oak trees because, yeah, I'm wondering whether some some light oak in there and let's make this a little bit more of a, a lighter room. You can see kind of this is the contrast that you'll get. This is oak. This is jungle. So it will stand out. This is also night. So let's very quickly have a wee sleep. Because I'm hearing all sorts of nasty out there. Let's get rid of that for a start. There we go. Is that the sound of something awful suffering out there? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to check. I'd really rather not. Just in case there is something horrible. That sounded like a llama. Suffering. Because I love llamas, as you know. And I'd never want to see a llama suffer. Right. 
oak wood. We've got a few trees here. Hopefully, we'll get some saplings off it. But at least this way, if we're using planks rather than... Um... Wow, was that it? Was that just a one high? That's not so good. Uh, I don't really want beach. Beach is going to be way too light for what we need. So, have we got any more that we can take down? It's not going to make a massive eyesore difference. We'll just leave one log in place just so we know where these trees were. I'm pretty sure oh, we've got some saplings. That's good. That's good. We can take these then because I don't like to kind of chop down the trees and then not have any regrow because it kind of looks a bit sad so hopefully we can pop that one there that one there i've got a stick we've got 20 there we can take this one down and this one as well hopefully we'll get some settling oh no oh that was that's all right that's fine that's cool that was that rubbish iron axe that we were just trying to get rid of so that's fine don't worry too much about that we could just do with one more sapling so we can replace that got one perfect and boom so that's about 30 logs i think i can oh wow we need another one oh let's just try and unattach this from there there we go and there's our missing sapling cool let us head back into the base get ourselves some planks made and hopefully we'll be able to make some slabs and that will be sufficient for covering our floor so da -da -da. let's go with half of you for the moment it's a big area let's go half again it is a big area but let's just see kind of how we how we get on with the number that we've got oh wrong door wow oh uh, we've set that too high already on to a winner already yeah do you know what that looks kind of okay i think because we've got spruce and then we've got a little bit of a contrast it kind of means that we have used well i mean we've used spruce kind of for the sort of the skirting um whoops so we use spruce for the skirting we've got spruce planks for the walls we're kind of keeping this sort of wood theme but this is just that little bit lighter that I think, you know, this would have been a nice kind of light sort of room to uh, to entertain in. So you want it to be a little bit lighter and brighter. It might be we can get some some rugs down. I'd like to find a better way um, of making kind of dining tables and chairs. Um, you know, there's times when I'm playing vanilla, I miss chiseling bits so much oh five. Oh, we are placing blocks badly like a boss today we are the queen of bad block placement right let's go so we need one two three four eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen okay so we're gonna need to do a few more i do have a crafting bench on me in fact i have two let's pop you down in the corner because we're going to be using you a little bit more and probably just need that'll give us 18 that's more than we need but that's fine i'm sure we can find a use for those so there we go that is those now for the table 
Um, I'm kind of going to have to go with using the um, the old method, shall we say. So, I want to find the centre of our room. So it's one, two, three, four. Sorry, again. It's quite hard to count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is perfect because I actually want it to be even. So our dining table, I think we will have one, two, three. Let's line it up with the door. So we'll go and start it maybe here. and bear with me while I do this because I want to use stairs all the way around just to kind of give it that sort of table-y feel uh, let's take this one out I don't know whether that feels too wide. So it's two there and two there, isn't it? That feels a little wide to me. Maybe I actually just want it to be three wide. So it gives me three this side. We've still only got two this side. I think it's a... Hmm. Hmm. going to be a bit of a pain but maybe if we bring it back one more this way Ooh. just because what I might do is put some kind of uh, well we call it a sideboard in the UK um, I'm not entirely sure what it will be called elsewhere in the world um, but basically it's like a, a unit that you would have put dishes onto there we go like so now what we could do is put a contrasting block in the centre that's a bit like a, a kind of table runner that could work so let's just go with three more of those mm, I just wonder if it actually needs to be darker wood maybe that's why we could use spruce just so it's a little bit more of a contrast because we kind of this will this will stand out a little bit more against the um against the oak but we need to think about our chairs as well and I'm going to use slabs rather than stairs for the chairs and I want one two now we've got dining table long enough so I want to kind of a gap in between so let's just make ourselves a few slabs let's make 12 to start with so we'll be having, whoops, not like that, one at each end. It'd be nicer to sort of space it a little bit more if we could. And a one and a gap, one and a gap, one and a gap, one and a gap. Is that where we wanted it? No. So we've got a gap of two at the end there probably take this back just extend the table very slightly like so uh, we need to take you down so you're facing the wrong way because like, let's face it you know if we're gonna have a party and we're going to entertain you want 
plenty of space, right? So one, two, three and a gap, four and a gap. Yeah, one, two. So a party of ten, that to me sounds perfect. And I've got nine doors, isn't that just typical? So it's very quickly, just actually thinking about it, let's double check as to whether we've got another door another jungle door because we may well have done yes we do perfect look at that now i've got 10 jungle doors and look at all of the slabs and steps that we had as well yay well done us <laughs> never mind should have checked that first but hey it's not like we're short of jungle wood is it right uh nope that's the bedroom here's the dining room so the idea is that want to put this down like so to make like the backs of chairs I like high backed chairs with dining tables but I just kind of think these look a little bit more ornate um, than just having kind of normal chairs they kind of look a little bit like the backs of chairs so let's go and see if we can get so we can just get out the door just about but hey it's fine we can go through the scullery <laughs> uh let's get some spruce do we have any spruce planks we do have some spruce planks perfect so we can use those in the middle oh plant pots Do we have any plant pots? Uh, even if we actually have any flowers, to be fair, because we were using all of our flowers for dyes, weren't we? Um, any up here? Doesn't look like it. Um, right, why don't we cook up pop out this just for the minute and we'll pop that back into there just we can make some bricks quickly and it's night again that's oh is that because we've got the end ah there we go he must have pinged out of the way we'll go and have a look and see if we can get a couple of flowers that can look nice I know I stripped a lot of the flowers from around here while I was um, trying to make dyes or trying to get the flowers for the uh, for the hotel garden, which I still incidentally haven't quite finished yet. Um, I still need to get myself over uh, to the nether and get some glowstone because I haven't got any and I've not been able to find any let's just get some we've got some red flowers over here they will do a couple of nice hopefully nice poppies oh an egg eggs always helpful it's a food source right okay we'll take these back hopefully these all these will pot up nicely though I've noticed they weren't actually going into pots so we might actually have to use a couple of saplings instead because yeah for some reason they don't seem to be going into plant pots but we'll give it a try if not we'll put saplings on just so we've got a little bit of decoration on the table now the question is do we make ourselves some placemats and things oh look pretty there we go I do like the cornflowers I think they are super pretty right let's try and jump over here we've got our spruce slabs to do the centre of our table with one two three four five six seven perfect 
that looks kind of nice. And let's go have a quick look. So I'm wondering, we could use barrels, theoretically, to make our sideboard. Uh, I was in here looking for my bricks, wasn't I? So it gives us a couple of flower pots. I don't think you can combine them that way, can you? No. See, I don't know whether this is going to work. I don't know whether it's going to work, but let's give it a go anyway. So it'd be nice if you had candlesticks and stuff like that in this as well, wouldn't you? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven there. So if we go two from each end. Oh, they are going in. Look, so let's have one of each. So why weren't they planting nicely? Oh, it's the bushes, wasn't it? No. Nope. Not what I wanted. I wanted the blue one. There we go. So that looks kind of pretty. I think that looks kind of pretty. So yeah, it's a bit tight. It is a little bit tight, but the chairs are kind of how I want them to look. And I say I want to run like a a sideboard across the back here. So I think we should be able to do that. We've got enough um, wood here. Let's just make ourselves a bunch more sticks. And we need probably not gonna need quite as many as this, but uh yeah, we'll use the that gives us five barrels, which is fine because I kind of want it to be not too long. Oops. That's not how I wanted you to place. So it kind of has cupboards in it. So this is where you kind of keep plates and things like that. And then we can use some coloured uh, carpet to make placemats and a top for our table. So we have in here, so I want the brown carpet, which will be the top. So we're kind of doing a little bit as we did um, in the um, kitchen. I think, did we use brown on that or did we use, yeah, we used brown. I wonder whether using grey might be nicer. Do we have any grey dye? This is the question. We've got some light grey wool. We've got some grey wool. Let's have a go with that. There we go. Let's have six of those and let's not use a little flower. You can you can pop in there. Um, yeah, let's not use the brown. Don't need all of the grey. We only need five. I'm only one, two, three, four, five of those. And one, two, three, four, five of those. And let's go put some placemats down. And we've run way too far this time, haven't we? Uh, there we go. Right, so for our sideboard, it kind of covers up, kind of covers up the top. It sort of makes it look a little bit smarter. And we will go pink, cyan, 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 cyan and cyan and then pink 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 there so I'll people at the ends they'll be opposite colors but that kind of lays out the table quite nicely um yeah so it'd be nice if we could i wonder if we could just use some torches we could just put those down so they're kind of as close to kind of having candles on the table as you can get and I would prefer to probably have lanterns in here um, I still need to sort out what I want to do with the ceiling because that ceiling needs to go up one um, 
as it is with all of the others it's up that little bit higher and again we still haven't sorted out the ceiling in our bedroom wow we are slacking we are seriously slacking but as a start i think for the dining room it needs finishing so i need to uh, so finish putting up the ceiling decide what we want to do with that um i think we'll probably will stick to our sort of slightly darker um kind of dark oak coving but maybe we'll use sort of a lighter wood for the, the higher part of the ceiling and maybe think of some way using the lanterns that we can put um sort of more of a because in theory actually we've got enough underfloor lighting that we shouldn't need all of these on here she says hopefully and we should be able to make some lanterns um kind of maybe sort of similar to how we've got these hanging out here um but actually do that maybe over the dining table and you know obviously have the ceiling up a little bit higher but that is something that i will need to work on uh for the next episode however i think we'll call it quits here uh thank you all very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and we shall see you in the next one take care bye